right here we have Justin Trudeau's reaction to the Nazi in the House of Commons. So oh, somebody geez. caught this <laughs> deer in the headlights in the hallway. Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, I, we're going to react. I haven't seen this yet, so let's react to it together. Obviously, it's extremely upsetting that this happened. <laughs> uh, the speaker, speaker has uh, acknowledged his mistake uh, and has apologized. Uh, but this is something that is deeply embarrassing to the Parliament of Canada and, by extension, to all Canadians. Uh, I think particularly no, of no. Jewish MPs and all members of the Jewish community across the country who are uh, celebrating Yom, or commemorating Yom Kippur today. Uh, I think it's going to be really important that all of us push back against Russian propaganda, Russian disinformation, and continue our steadfast and unequivocal support for Ukraine uh, as uh, we did last week with announcing uh, further measures to stand with Ukraine in uh, Russia's illegal war against it. Boy, does he sound and look like a defeated man in that clip. He looks pale, Sheila. Um, and so he should. So again, that adds water to what I was just saying a second ago. Don't take the day off. Get on this file, make do something, i.e. in demanding at the very least the resignation of Rhoda, because, you know, Blackface himself, he'll never take accountability. He'll never take the blame. He won't be the goat. He isn't going to resign. But somebody's head should roll for this. I like how he sort of flipped it around on the Russians at the end there. Like this, he's like, blah, blah, blah. And this is deeply embarrassing. Um for the parliament, by extension, all Canadians. No, I'm no. embarrassed of you. I didn't invite a, a Nazi. In fact, we're the ones outraged about it. We're the ones that noticed you did it. Yeah. Um, it wasn't 40 notice. million Canadians that were responsible for this fiasco. Once again, they do something bad. We have to learn from yeah. it. Um, but they flip. he flips it around on the Russians. Like, this is, this is why we have to resist... Russian propaganda yeah. and Russian disinformation. The Russians didn't make you do this. You did it because you're an idiot. Um, but again, like there has to be this big Russian boogeyman pulling the strings, making the liberals do stupid stuff all the time. I don't yeah. know how he had to shoehorn that in there, but he sure did. And the media is going to eat it up. The Russians could only dream about pulling off a caper like this, Sheila, but they had no, blackface to do it and uh, rotten uh, as well. So, uh, again, uh, I think it's only a matter of time because this is not going to go away. This is not one of these 24-hour or 48-hour news cycle uh, scandals. Uh, given the international traction it's getting, uh, they have... They can't do their usual, um, you know, tactic, Sheila, in terms of changing the channel. Although I wouldn't put that past them, you know, coming up with some new grant they're going to give uh, Canadians to uh, deal with inflation or something like that. But it's not going to work. This is not going to go away. And someone's got to pay the price. But Sheila, as you Once again, Justin Trudeau and his liberals have made Canada the international laughing stock this time by bringing a member of the Waffen SS Nazi death squad to Canada to give him a standing ovation in the House of Commons to call on the man responsible Anthony Rota the speaker of the House of Commons to resign or be fired please visit firerota.com <laughs> 